All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only run video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Hollowed Halls. We just did Deadlands and Godfrey's Crossing. We're just going to bang these out all in one week. It's going to be great. We're going to get through this. We're going to finally finish Nightmare Campaign. I feel it in my bones. So here's what we're going to do. Same thing we did last time. We're not going to use Outrider and Kale. That is we. That is what we are not going to do. We are going to bring in our, our boy, Yakarl, and Mr. S Mr. Not Mr. Mrs. Sill. Mrs. Sill. That's who we're going to bring in. We're going to start it out. Let's see if they can handle this. We're really going to find out. We're finding out live kind of as I find out because, to be honest, I don't really know if this is going to work or not. I literally am just going to try it. Now, there's a lot of unkillable in here. There is some other things that are annoying, and we do have the disadvantage of having Sill be kind of the incorrect affinity for a lot of the monsters that appear in here and for the boss. So we may have an issue like stuff like this, so we may have to stop it and just kind of focus on this hero for a little bit because otherwise this one's going to stay unkillable forever. So really what we're going to do is we're going to try and freeze her as much as possible until this bony goes, and then we'll be fine. We could consider bringing in someone like uh, Arbiter, but I don't think it would help the overall fight. So now we're going to take her out. She's dead. We don't have to worry about her anymore, except now that she's back. <laughs> All right, we're trying to freeze her. Nope, not going to happen. Take her out, and now we come back to her. And if we're lucky, we get a freeze, but we didn't have to worry about it because she is dead. All right, let's go back in. There's no one else in here that is doing any kind of unkillable, so we can go back to doing auto. Now, the goal here, hopefully, is that these two are just going to control the fight so much that we don't have to worry about it. That's the goal. So far, it looks like it's okay. The only time we might have a problem is if there's a skull crown. And unfortunately for us, there's going to be a lot of skull crowns in this. They, uh, they unfortunately appear very often. And uh, it just seems to be a staple of this area. So let's see. Let's stop it for a sec. Actually, it doesn't matter. I mean, I should have stopped it right there. But you know what? Screw it. Let's live a little. Let's see what happens. All right. So there's no... All right. We're good. There's no skull crown. So hopefully we get some stuns. I know that other lady right there is going to heal everyone. And she does vaporize, which is annoying. But nothing that I don't think these guys can handle with a revive or a quick freeze or something like that yeah it's fine i'm not worried if i was worried you would know you would hear it in my voice i'd be like uh we we, we might not make it but guess what that's not happening i have faith in your carl and i have faith in sill more more in your carl than i have in sill but i have a lot of faith in him he's he's a good he's a good dude he really knows he really knows how to turn up the turn up the flavor aka freeze people Dun, dun. Look at that. They made it through. Let's see. All right. Skull Crown's still in here. I've spent so much energy in the uh, last like three hours. This has been like nonstop. Just like, let's do it. I've been tired of looking at Nightmare Campaign being missing like stars and stuff. So we're going to get it all done now. I mean, whatever. We'll get it banged out. If these two are the ones that are going to do it, then great. My problem is we just got to figure out what's going to happen with uh, stage 12. That's it. That's the only one that's going to be a problem. And it might it might just be one of those things. We I think we're going to try it with... We're going to try it with V6. I don't know. We'll see. These two can do it. It's just a random luck shot that we get it done. So hopefully it works out well. But right now we're focused on Hallowed Halls. This, this is one of the harder areas, to be honest. I remember doing it when I first got to it and it is difficult because mainly you're going to have magic heroes and there's a lot of force affinity heroes in here and they just, they just take no damage. So if you don't have a good spirit affinity killer early on, which you more than likely will not, uh, you might have trouble here. Even like spirit host is okay. And kale can handle it with spirit host, but it's just like, it's a little rough still, even with all that going on, especially when you're just starting the game. But now we're talking about nightmare. It's like, you should have at least some heroes that can do it, but the problem is, is that these guys have so much HP in their pools that they just uh, they swim a lot. They swim a lot because of their HP pools. It just means that they take a long time to kill is really all it means. It doesn't really mean anything else. 
Luckily, this doesn't seem to be doing. This doesn't be, seem to be too slow. I mean, it's slow enough. Like it's not. It's obviously not a speed run. We're not breaking any records here. But the the goal here is to win, right, and get three stars. We don't really care about how long it takes. I mean, it would be nice for me if I didn't have to spend forty minutes making this video, right? But you know, it is what it is. I do it for you guys because I want you guys to be able to beat these things. And it looks like your Carl really is a game changing hero. I know people say that a lot, but yeah, this is yeah, he's he's actually a game changing hero. This is this is the first time we're really using him. Oh, our speed is not high enough, I guess. Or does he get first attack? I don't know how that works. I forgot what Hegemon's a jerk. I just know that. And I actually didn't even realize he was in here. So now we know that two hundred and twenty speed, two hundred and nineteen speed is not enough to beat out Hegemon. At least in here it's not. In the arena it might be because someone might build them crappily. Crappily? I think I used that in the other video. Crappily. Now this is looking pretty good. I mean, outside of outside of Hegemon getting first turn, that went well. These guys are kind of jerks. There you go. Frozen. He's, he's going to have to let it go, man. I am sorry for that reference. <laughs> oh, man. They can't hold me back anymore. Damn it, I did it again. So, it looks like we're good. I mean, we're only on, what, stage three now? So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty... I mean, really, it's just the bosses that I think might be a somewhat issue in here. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. It shouldn't be too bad. I know this boss specifically is kind of a jackass. And does a lot of damage and I think blocks skills, if I remember correctly. So that could cause a small problem. All right, we're going to take this off. We need Skull Crown to be dead like a doornail to reduce her turn meter for a little bit. Nah, this is a tough one. Yeah, we'll freeze her. There we go. Whatever. Whatever. All right, he didn't do anything special. We're good. Let's see if we can... Do some stuns. All right, we got some stuns. I like it. Uh, so we're going to kill her so that she gets her unkillable. There we go. Unkillable done. Now we can focus on someone else. We're going to take this dude down. Take him down to town. I have a lot of health. Everybody's stunned. I think we're just going to focus on him. Wait, why didn't I just not kill her? Stupid. Stupid. All right, now she's back. Freeze everyone again. And then we're going to take this dude out because he looks like he wanted to die. And then we'll kill Skull Crown. Goodbye. We're on stage. We're on level. On, okay, we're on the third one. It's fine. We can waste We can waste skills now. It doesn't really matter. All right, we're going to freeze this lady because we don't want her healing everybody. We don't need all that nonsense. And then we'll just keep, you know, we'll just keep attacking. There we go. He's dead. He's a dead oh. Like a Mario. He's a dead though. Done. All right, what is that? Stage three. We're on stage four. We're getting closer to that boss that's going to whoop our ass. So it looks like the only one that's a problem really is, is Skull Crown. And it looks like you could easily just stop the fight like I'm doing. It shouldn't be too bad. I think I think we'll be fine. The problem is also I don't know which ads the boss has. Like, I don't know. Sometimes just having a really weird ad can really, really screw up the fight. But based on how we're doing this, it shouldn't be much of an issue because we're doing it basically with them not getting turns. So it should work out okay. I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I mean I am I am a little bit worried about it. This video could go bad, you know? It's that's the worst when you're making a video. And honestly, there's been plenty of videos where I would make the video and I'd be like right at the end where I was trying to finish something and something bad would happen. And I'd be like, and it's like a one-off thing. And I just curse a lot. I should probably have saved most of those times that that happens. And then just made a compilation of me just yelling and screaming F-bombs at areas in this game. Because it does happen. All right, let's take this off. I'm gonna, I don't want to waste it. I want to get a good run into the beginning of the next fight. We want to make sure that everything goes well. Goes well and swell. Luckily, there's no there's no stuns if they don't get attacks. So there's that. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. All right. Is there a skull crown? No, but we are. Oh, there is a skull crown. Sadly. Sadly, there is. Oh, boo. We got a stun. 
Yep, we got our stun. All right, so let's just freeze that bonehead uh, and then start working on Skull Crown. She's frozen. We do not like Skull Crown in this house. Uh, we're going to freeze this guy, hopefully. There we go. See if we can get a stun. We did get the stun. All right, we don't need to do the freeze yet. So now she's unkillable. Got her turn. Now we can just kill her ass. And now she's going to come. No, is she coming back? She didn't come back. Why didn't she come back? Did she, did she, is she messing with me? Let's kill this guy. Say goodbye. Say goodnight, Otto. I can go unkillable too. I'm just as annoying as her. Make it rain. All right. Next level, stage five. So, so far, this is going well. Kind of to be expected from how it went last time with the other fights. I'm actually very excited about how this has been working. Who did that? Who did that? Was that her? All right, we're going to freeze her anyway. That's right, Skull Crown. You take that. Hopefully, we can get a freeze back again. We'll take her out. All right, she's frozen. Turn meter down. All right, we're going to use this on him because we want him dead. And now we're going to do the freeze to kill him and get her running. So now we still have still stun. Hopefully, we, and oh, there we go. She's really annoying with that, huh? She doesn't like me. All right, let's do a stun. Let's see if that works. There you go. Uh, she's frozen. He's stunned. So now we can freeze her. There we go. She's unkillable. Uh, let's try and freeze her. There we go. Problem solved. Kind of. She's still frozen. Why didn't it undo her? Weirdness, I tell you. All right, we want to stop them from doing that. That's really annoying. So we're going to try and get her annoyed. She's frozen. And then now we're going to kill her. I should have froze her, actually. This guy's going to take a while so we can use the stun. I was hoping we could stun him, but I guess not. All right, we got him frozen, so that's good. One less turn we got to deal with. All right, so she's dead. Good night. Kill them. Freeze him. Oh, she's really annoying with that removal of debuffs. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. There you go. He's frozen again. What are you going to do about it? You're going you're gonna to take it off again, jerk bag? I just want to kill her. I really do. She's really annoying me. There we go. Dead. All right. So we now know that she is very annoying for debuffs. All right, we're going to just go one hit at a time, save our skills for the next round in case there's another one of those jerks in that fight or a skull crown, which there are two of these jerks now. So that's great. So let's do that. Let's do some stuns. I, even though she's going to remove them. Yep, it's going to be full on removal. Let's take her down. This one needs to go. I should have hit him, actually, because now he's going to do that. All right. Um... I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a tough call, man. All right. Uh, see, this is how fights can go the wrong way. Uh, let's see if we can get everybody kind of annoyed. There we go. Let's focus on her. We want one of these dead. All right. Let's see. She's frozen. All right. He's counterattack. That is what it is. Woo. We're getting some damage done. All right. So he's got a counterattack, so he's going to go now. Yeah, he got his removal done. Um, all right, let's take her down. Frozen. Now let's get him frozen, hopefully. There we go. And we're just going to keep healing and going, and hopefully we can get that attack freeze to take him down. But he's got that remove thing going on right now. Um, everybody's frozen. We're going to stick with this. Sure, let's take a hit. Uh, let's do a freeze. Come on. Sure. Thunderclap. This is a really annoying fight, by the way. If you didn't notice it. All right. So we'll see if we can kill her. Maybe. These guys got sick HP, man. All right. Almost there. Let's see if we can get a stun going, please. Yep. Okay. He's stunned. So he's out of our face. I should have done the, the group freeze. Oh, well. At least he countered. All right. Let's take her turn meter down. Or not. Okay. Please freeze. Nice. 
All right, so everyone's frozen. Let's kill this guy because he can do a ton of damage. And then maybe we'll focus. Yeah, I guess we'll focus her. She's annoying, but he does more damage, but she's frozen. Let's just freeze him. All right, so she's frozen. We can keep her turn meter down. It should be fine. Let's see if this works. There we go. Nice and dead. So now we just got to keep him frozen and turn meter reduction, and we're done. And that's only fight number two in this area. See what I mean? It gets a little rough sometimes. So you got to worry. You got to watch yourself in here. You got to watch yourself. This is where debuffs do not work. Well, they work, but they have to be used in, in uh, the correct fashion. All right, so there's no more of that jerk bag, so that's good. But we do have the girl that will revive, I mean, uh, heal everyone. So hopefully we can get a stun, but it's not going to happen probably. Yep, there we go. All right, let's see if we can freeze her. I don't even know what she does, to be honest. But I know she sacrifices HP. So there is that. Um, he's annoying. Keep him turned down. Uh, freeze him. All right, we're going to just do another hopeful freeze. Yep. Then we're going to focus on her. Try to remove her turn meter and kill her at the same time. All right. Um, there's some... Everyone's frozen except her, so I think maybe we'll just do turn meter reduction and then hope for the best. Hopefully we get a freeze. Yep, we did get a freeze. Winner, winner. All right, so now she he's alive. We're just keep running around doing freezes. It's the best way to go. Um, everybody's frozen. Let's go back to her. She's not frozen again. There we go, frozen. Actually, this guy's kind of back up and running. All right, so now they're all froze again. Turn me to reduction. Look at this annoyance. Look at this. This is round three. I just realized that, so we can kind of waste stuff. We can waste skills. Let's kill her. She's the only one that can heal. Take him out, and then take out Stun Girl. Dead, dead, dead ski. All right, stage six. One more level. This area is definitely not fun. I'll tell you that much. All right, we're going to auto this one, see how it goes. See if there's any issues. If we see any of those removal of debuff chicks or another skull crown, we'll stop it. But these guys ain't that bad. These guys are all kind of dopes. It's when they have tons of resist that it becomes a problem. Good job. Let's see if we can get these guys. So far, this fight's going really well. Outside of jerk bag there doing the uh, the early hit. Everyone's frozen. Everyone's stunned. That's exactly the way I like it. I'm not going to lie. I, I really never thought we would get here. I've been skipping all of the nightmare campaign for like a very long time. All right. This is it. Let's see if this team has what it takes. This is a... Void, not void. What am I talking about? This is a force affinity boss. So hopefully, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to slow it down right before we get into the final boss and see if we can kind of take care of business. I feel like this team should be fine, though, in the next chapter. So really, this is the, the last real challenge outside of just fighting the final boss over and over again until we don't get a block revive. So it's just like. It's one of those things. We are we're only in the first area, so, so that's fine. So much HP. So little time. All right, let's take it off. I don't want to waste stuff. Let's go. Come on. All right, he's dead. Frozen, frozen, frozen. That's all I have to say. All the frozen is all we need. And that's it. I mean, honestly, this is if as long as you can control the waves, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Of course, there's a damn skull crown. All right, good. Everybody's everybody's froze. Uh, whose turn meter do we want to take down? He's annoying. So we'll remove his. And then we'll keep whacking away on her. All right, so we have a lot of... We can do some stun. 
All right. We just got to be ready for the boss. That's all. All right. So now she's unkillable and frozen, so that's fine. Kill this guy. He's dead. All right. So that's skull crown gone. Let's take these guys down. She's back in action, but we can hopefully freeze him. And then we go back to her. Isn't that fun how that works? You literally just switch back and forth until one of them unfreezes. If you can get her to do a freaking freeze. There we go. And then we switch back. Reduce turn meter. Frozen. And then back to her. Look at that. Dead skis. All right. So we got the boss coming. So what? The, which ads we have is really going to determine how, how well this goes. This could go poorly. Of course it's a Hegemon. And of course we can't freeze the boss. I'm thinking the best way to go is the same way we did this last time. We're going to do that to take away a turn meter. And then hopefully stun these two boneheads. We got us. We got to actually. All right. So he's stunned. So now we focus him. Um, I think it's gonna be. You know, let's just do the full freeze. There we go. Now we don't have to really worry about either one of them. Uh, actually, no. She's eh. So be it. Let's just try to take some HP down on him because that gets turn meter down. All right. We'll do this. No freeze. We're going to try and do a stun. All right, we got the stun. Now we're going to take away her turn meter again. And then freeze this guy again. All right, so all the ads are frozen again. So now we just focus the boss. Uh, turn meter reduction would be nice. There we go. Um, we're trying to freeze this guy. Nope, no chance. All right, we're going to hit her again, take the turn meter away, try to stun. We got the stun, so that's luck. All right, we have a freeze going, so that's good. So far, so good. All right, we got the freeze now. So now that's done. Uh, it's turn meter reduction. Nice. We got an extra turn. Turn meter, and we've got some sexy smite. Can we do a stun? All right, she got an attack. And smite for the win. There you go. Your Carl and Syl once again destroying the campaign. So basically, the beginning was just we were just looking at Kale and and Spirit Host. That was it. First four areas, maybe five areas, possibly you can use them. From then on, we used Syl and Drex because they were the easiest ones to acquire at that time. And then basically, once you get into stage nine, it looks like your Carl and Syl are really starting to take the cake here and being able to beat stuff here. Uh, so now we're at 246, and then we got one more one more left. We're in Brimstone, and we're going to bang that out as soon as this video ends. And so, yeah, it's going to be great. We're going to have them all ready to go. Uh, once again, if this is your first time watching these videos, quick overview. We've got Relentless on Syl. All her skills are max. She's got the Brimstone Blessing. All her mastery is set up where she's more defensive, and she's got her little bird thing here so that's fun for accuracy plus 50 uh total stats as you can see are right here 39,000 hp uh, almost 4,000 defense 178 speed uh 65 crit damage i mean rate 130 crit damage 139 resist and 301 accuracy because we want her accuracy super high to make sure she's landing those stuns in the turn meter reductions uh your carl is in all accuracy perception and then i've got some protected just because it had good stats uh, skills, we basically are all max except for his one skill here, which reduces the cooldown, of course. Masteries is your basic War Master into uh, accuracy build. Nothing crazy here, so you don't have to really worry about too much there. Total stats are 36,000 HP, 4,200 attack. He's got 1,600 defense because his freezes will always give him better defense. 219 speed, 78 crit rate, 216 crit damage, 154 resist, and a Reasonable 198 accuracy. Probably 2 to 250 would be way better. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the two guys that we're using to get through this. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything else that you want to discuss, feel free to leave a comment. Always fun to see what everyone thinks or what everyone is doing to get through these fights. These are not the only two heroes that can beat this, obviously. People do it with other stuff. So this is just what I have because I only use Mystery Shard. So it's what we got, it's what we use, and it works well. So it might take a little bit longer, but we get the job done, right?
Uh, yeah. And make sure you like and subscribe. You know, all these things help the channel grow and keep us moving along, making videos for you. And yeah, we'd like to get some uh, some new content going. So the more people that are involved is, you know, better for everyone. So this is the Hollowed Halls Nightmare Campaign. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys take care.